Sticky Bombs, the first mod you're introduced to. That is, if you didn't choose the full auto mod at the start of Hell on Earth, then it's one of the few mods you're introduced to. A complete upgrade compared to 2016's Grenade Launcher mod for the Combat Shotgun, this mod plays a big role during the earlier levels of Doom Eternal. As you begin collecting more weapons that outperform the Combat Shotgun and mod itself, it starts to feel a little obsolete to use. It may feel that way, but it's not. Besides being the prime source of feeding wild cacos, there are many other ways to use this at a high level, especially during your UN runs. Hey Vince! Oh, you're playing with your sticky, I'm sorry. Sticky, but deadly. This mod does one thing that drastically changes the way you use the combat shotgun, by never using the primary fire again. I mean, yeah, there's some use for it, but the sticky bombs drastically outperform it in terms of damage values. Plus, it has a much higher DPS than the primary fire has. By the time you go through two primary shots with a reload animation, you've already dumped three sticky bombs within the same time frame. Of course, you could cancel the reload animation by swapping to another weapon, but that's some advanced technique which I will get into a bit within this video. Back to the sticky bombs, it can be used much better than just sticking it onto a demon and watching them explode. Explode. Man, I really yep. wish I could teabag yep. demons yep. again. Yep. You start off with three shots, and then can upgrade to five shots. On zombie soldiers, you can sticky bomb their feet and put them into a glory kill state. It's best to shoot one close to them. Sticking a bomb onto them will kill them in one shot. Shooting a sticky bomb directly onto a mecha zombie will send them into a glory kill state as well. Unless they've taken some damage, then it'll one shot them. In the beginning of Hell on Earth, we all get introduced to using the sticky bombs to destroy weak points, which I'm certain you already know by now. That's just the basics of sticky bombs. You stick it to something, and it explodes. But when it comes to advanced tech for the mod, uh, that's when things get a little more interesting. Things you may have not known about, and hopefully incorporate it in your playstyle. You may have noticed this when using the sticky bombs, automatically detonating upon demon bodies. It's a little funny. Instead of waiting a second, the bomb will just explode. It also happens if you shoot at the carcass plasma shield. May seem buggy in a way, but it actually has some good use for it. I say some, cause it's really just a bug that will eventually get patched out. For now, there is a bit of use for it. A shield with a bunch of demons around. I mean, you get the point here. But bodies? Oh, that's a nice use for it. Normally, when glory killing or chainsawing a demon, other demons won't stop firing or attacking the player. In 2016, they would stare at you and wait until you were done, watching their friend being killed with horror. But in Doom Eternal, they show no mercy. Once your invulnerability runs out, typically two dashes can get you away from them. But that doesn't mean you're safe. Sticky bombing the corpse of the demon you just killed can help with that. Instead of waiting a second until the bomb explodes, you can immediately detonate the sticky bomb and kill or falter any demons. Even if it doesn't explode immediately, it'll still provide some backup for you when retreating. Gibbs in general can detonate the sticky bomb too. An arm, leg, a butt crack. Anything that was once a living, breathing demon can detonate on impact. Want to add some extra damage to that sticky bombs? You can combo them with a precision bolt, creating a high DPS quick swap combo much similar to the PB and rocket combo majority of people know about. It does seem a little tricky, but again, as soon as you get the hot swapper perk during Call to Space on UN, you can take full advantage of its high DPS even before you get the rocket launcher. And if you don't know how to perform the PB and rocket combo, I'll show you the best way to do it both on keyboard and controller. Now, depending on your platform and frame rate, the tempo will be different. If, let's say, you're on console, then you might have to swap a bit slower due to input lag and playing at 60 FPS. However, if you were to play on PC with a controller, you can swap just as fast as you can with keyboard and mouse. Have the combat shotgun and heavy cannon pre-selected with the precision bolt and sticky bomb mods, and hold the secondary mod button. You can eliminate the extra button inputs required when performing this high DPS combo. As you're holding the button, fire the precision bolt, swap to the combat shotgun and be ready to fire as soon as the shotgun comes up. After you fire the sticky bomb, swap back to the heavy cannon as soon as you fire shot and repeat. There's a certain rhythm you gotta familiarize yourself with to fully achieve the quickest DPS possible. In my quick swap guide for console players, I briefly mentioned mimicking yourself tapping your fingers on a surface as if you were bored. That same rhythm applies here. You can also perform this combo with the rocket launcher with its remote detonate mod equipped. 
firing a rocket while holding the secondary mod button won't detonate the rocket, so you can quick swap freely with the precision bolt. It's also worth mentioning that swapping with lock-on or full auto will disrupt the quick swap sequence. If you want a more in-depth guide with quick swapping, PB, and rocket that can be used similarly with sticky bombs, check out Arrhythmia's quick swapping guide for more info. That's pretty much everything that's worth mentioning about the sticky bombs and its properties. Later on in your runs, there will come other weapons that'll make the combat shotgun obsolete. However, to fully space out your ammo pool, it's best to not always rely on the PB and rocket DPS combo and switch it up with sticky bombs. Instead of using the same two guns, why not add a third with equal DPS? If you like this video and think you've learned something new from it, consider giving this video a like. And if you like Doom content, then why not consider subscribing to the channel for more Doom Eternal uploads. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it a ton. And until next time, keep slamming.